I've always felt the biggest misconception of Trau is that we're trying to copy something that's going on in Berlin. And I firmly believe that what Trau is is definitely not Berlin. It couldn't happen in Berlin in the way that we've done it. I think Trau is more open-minded in a different way. It's, it's a more happy place, it's a more open place. Uh, it's more about good vibes and everybody can join in. I never think of those things. I'm just like, okay, DJ booth should be ground floor level, you know, eye to eye. It's just the way it turned out. I've actually read a few articles about this recently and that's suddenly like, oh yeah, that's true. People can actually just really approach the DJ booth and turn down the fader or chuck a beer at someone. It never happens. I think maybe because it's so in your face that you realize, hey, that's something really special and I don't want to mess with it. Helene's visuals are really cinematic. She films little worlds in itself and projects that on a big screen and she could film like a little aquarium in her house in such a way that it turns out to be like a a starry night on big screen and you know you and I would see it as a starry night and actually it was just her experimenting with her aquarium at home and that's really special about the way that she works. I have this extreme longing for nature and for, for the beauty of it. That's why I want to bring it into a club environment because maybe you're not really used to that in a way but everybody longs for it in a way I think. I like to see visuals where you can really um, go into visualize your own story in a way if, if I only look at super graphic uh, visuals sometimes I miss the emotion in it. You know, I'm not leading. I'm never leading in a night. I'm very uh, comfortable in that position because I can't never be a DJ, but sometimes uh, when it's really kind of in sync with the music, uh, people come to me and say, this is uh, really, really amazing and it touched me. Uh, um, thank you. People have said that, you know, us trying to ban photography, for us it's not take photos of other people for privacy reasons. We want you to enjoy the moment. We want you to um, dance and enjoy the people you were with. And whenever you're holding your phone up like this or you have a camera, that immediate moment of having a screen in between you and that moment actually stops you from enjoying it. You know, you, you probably know from experience that when you didn't take a picture from that amazing skydiving wherever you were, that memory is much more vivid than the crappy, you know, MP3 recording that you made. We're not chucking people out because they're taking pictures. It's more about being in the moment, being present and enjoying it. I think it's kind of an end of an era of partying in Amsterdam. I think it's beautiful that it stayed for four or five years and it ended on the top and we're gonna be super sad but we have yeah a lot of beautiful memories.